All right, so to me the definition of true masculinity and femininity too is being able to lay comfortably in your own skin. Vincent D'Onofrio said that, and I picked that quote to begin my speech, because it is the, uh, the key or basically the, the answer to uh, how to fix every issue that I'm going to mention in this slide. My name is Rob, and today I'm going to talk to you about those issues being control, conflict, and rape, unfortunately, as it relates to uh, toxic masculinity. All right, but Rob, you said you seem like a pretty chill guy. How can you possibly tell me anything about toxicity? Glad you asked. So I read a book by a gentleman called Dr. Robert Jensen. The book's called Getting Off, and basically he just uh, talks about everything that I'm going to talk to you about today, but in more detail. I was in the military, which is basically a breeding ground for just toxic masculinity altogether. I was a hot-headed kid, so I know a little bit about conflict as it relates. I have a friend who was actually sexually assaulted by another friend of mine. So I have an idea of how that can affect somebody. And for this speech, I did a lot of online research. All right, so the first issue I want to talk to you about is control. All right, so control, it's more than just this picture here where you have a gentleman trying to, well, a guy, like, trying to uh, gain control of this female. In some scenarios, the uh, situation can even be flip-flopped where you have the female being the aggressor. All right, but the situation I want to talk to you about today is uh, entitlement. It has more to deal with entitlement, but it also relates to control. So Dr. Robert Jensen, in his book, he mentioned that he was listening to this radio talk show one time, and the two gentlemen, they were talking about how a black woman stole a potential job from them. All right? Dr. Jensen, hearing this, he wasn't just like outraged or anything. He just called in and asked, so why do you think that the black woman stole a job from you in particular? Throughout the phone call, uh, basically came to the realization that the guys were just pretty much ignorant, and they just thought that just because they were men, they thought the job uh, basically was just guaranteed to them. So realizing that they had no control over that situation, they decided to take to the uh, radio waves and ran. All right, but what causes this? And I'll get more into that a little bit later on. All right, so this is the, uh, the image I'm going to have to explain. Does anybody know what happened in this, between these two? Yes, <laughs> at least one. So basically, Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla and all that, uh, he tried to stick his nose where he didn't belong. So in Thailand, there was a flooding which left several uh, Thai boys just trapped in this cave. So he's a cave diver trying to save him in a nutshell. Elon Musk had his own idea. His idea didn't work out. This guy asked what he, was asked what he thought of Elon Musk's idea. And he told him he can stick it where the sun doesn't shine. In reply, uh, some billionaire CEO said that he's a, this guy is now a pedophile. Decided to like name call him, a little Twitter war. So Elon Musk, he was clearly in the wrong, tried to take control of a situation that he did, had no business in, got into a conflict. So. Where you, have, where you have somebody who's trying to take control, more than likely going to run into a lot of conflict. So in this uh, scenario, Elon Musk tried to be an alpha male. It didn't really work out for him. Also, don't have time to mention that, so I'm going to skip that. All right, and then finally comes to uh, this point. So for this one, and also Dr. Robert Jensen's book, he mentions that how he was at this uh, adult convention, and there was two female performers on stage uh, performing. And then uh, he said that he was in the sea of gentlemen, and he's there for like research purposes or something like that. And then he said that the vibe that he got from that crowd basically was like, if there weren't security guards around there, uh, the stage, then the guys would have just ransacked the stage, basically. All right. And then he also mentions that uh, there's like websites where you can go to, like porn websites, and then it's basically uh, guys luring some chick into a van with a promise of like money if they have sex. And then later on, he just ends up kicking her out of the car, doesn't pay her a dime. And then basically it kind of sends the message of like uh, women can be bought, but they're not worth the price. So, hence lying media. All right, so in a nutshell, what causes this is when we're kids, we're taught that uh, you have to be a man and you have set standards that you have to try to you know, live by, you gotta be taught. All right, but men and women, our brains aren't really wired too differently. So why isn't anybody going around questioning like, a female's woman in it. It's not uncommon where a guy gets his man in a car full. So, basically how that quote relates to my speech, just be you, just be comfortable in your own skin. Don't try to live up to uh, different people's standards that they have set for you. In a nutshell, my name's Rob, and thank you for your time. Thank you.